never have and I never will make a video that I'm no passionate about. On the 7th of October 2014, I took part in something called Lessons from Auschwitz, in which I travelled to Krakow, Poland to visit Auschwitz Birkenau, one of the biggest, the biggest Nazi concentration camps during the Second World War. If you're not interested in this more serious approach, then just click off the video just now. But if you are interested, and if you are new, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. This is Auschwitz the largest concentration camp during the Second World War. As you approach the gates, you are greeted by the words Arbeit macht frei, which translates to work sets you free. People of all ages, races and backgrounds were dragged to this labour camp from all over Europe. Hitler's regime targeted the disabled, the naysayers, the ethnic minorities, the homosexuals and the most widely known Jewish community. They were promised a happy life of work through the Nazi propaganda, but what awaited them was hell on earth. Originally, most brought suitcases with all of their prized possessions, but on arrival, they were snatched from them. The next picture encapsulates the level in which these human beings were willing to go. A small child's doll left shattered. This may have happened over time, but to me, this image tells a thousand words. Hate dark, disturbing, evil. I could go on, but I'll leave it there. This section of Auschwitz is where the Nazi commander Rudolf Hoess was executed in 1947. A man who stood for nothing but murder was rightfully put to his death a stone's throw away from a gas chamber where thousands lost their lives. This is Birkenau, the second part of the concentration camp not too far from Auschwitz. I have done talks on this in the past and I can only describe it in this analogy. Imagine looking out to the sea and not knowing where it ends. An eerie quiet sound surrounds these parts more chilling than I have ever encountered. This is the train track where hundreds of thousands of innocent lives were hoarded into their slaughter and cattle cabins barely fit to their purpose. The people were dehumanised and made to feel worthless. They lived in overcrowded huts with barbaric living conditions and were made to fester in their own waste as they could only dispose of it in these makeshift toilets. Forever let this place be a cry of despair and a warning to humanity where the Nazis murdered about one and a half million men, women and children. I was able to make the walk out of Auschwitz Birkenau unscathed, unlike hundreds of thousands. However, this lesson has changed me forever. Do not let history repeat itself. I'm out.